think about the last drink of water that you had. How do you know what's in the water that you're drinking? And the supply chain that that water came through, whether you got it from a government supply or you bought it in a bottle. Do you have no transparency to what is in that water, what's in that bottle, the quality of that water, where it's been, etc. What we did is set out to change the fundamental human relationship to water. And we're doing that with a, the product we call Source, which is a hydro panel, quite literally a thing that looks like a solar panel, but instead of making electricity, it makes fine drinking water with sunlight and air only. It's elegantly designed, and it's truly a solar water source. So there's no pipe connection going in, no electrical connection going in. You put two of these panels on your roof, and you own the drinking water, your cooking water, going forward. They produce pure water that is then mineralized so that the water that comes out has a high pH and tastes great. And we know that we're doing what we think we're doing because every panel everywhere in the world is connected through a mesh network so we can see that we're doing what we say we're doing in all the places we're in. So whether we're talking about on the Palm Dubai or in northern Lebanon up against the Syrian border where we're supporting an orphanage and schools there, zero mass and source is fundamentally changing people's lives across a huge range of, of places. Hey. Hi. How have you been? Good, thanks. How are you? Great. Good. How was the drive over? Oh, it was stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, can I get you something to drink? How about a glass of water? Yes, yeah, so we're now in 30 countries somewhere? and growing. Uh, but it's, it's not so much about the countries as much as it is about the problems we're solving yeah. for hotels and hospitals and communities and individual households. And even more importantly than that, the people in those communities and the people at those hospitals and the people in those homes. And you think about the individual life stories of each of those people and the fact that those people now have perfect water from source. You're giving them water independence, basically. Yeah, and what's beautiful is that we can put these panels, these source hydro, hydro panels, anywhere on the planet practically. So whether it's raining or they're having a severe drought, they'll always have access to clean water. Exactly. So then I imagine a, a solar panel uh, that instead of producing electricity, it produces drinking water. Available rain, hail or shine. The water's not coming from our water table. It's coming from the air above our building. Producing water from sun and air is, it, it's the future. The source hydro panels have brought a lot of joy to the school. We will be able to get clean, fresh water from the atmosphere for the girls to drink and hopefully also to cook. So compared to the previous system, um, it's way more environmentally friendly and we don't have heaps of plastic waste. Our eight hydro panels on the roof reduce the need for almost half a million single-use plastic water bottles. It can produce drinking water immediately without having any other infrastructure requirements. A new innovative thing that can potentially save communities, it's, it's pretty, pretty special. We cannot expect young learners to uh, be their best and to do their best in school if they have no water. I mean, they need to drink water to stay hydrated so we're providing a good service for them with great water. Uh, so Zero Mass contribution right now has saved our girls time to go and fetch water, so that time we'll go into reading. Source water is much better. It tastes clearer as well. The excitement is palpable. I mean, people are blown away. It's, it's great. It's phenomenal. You think about your, you know, your upbringing in Zimbabwe and you, now you live in Arizona, so you think about two places that have, you know, historically tons of water stress. And then you're just in Cape Town, Last yeah, Christmas. for Christmas last year, yeah. They also have that water problem. I mean, my sister-in-law, we were staying in an Airbnb and she was drinking the tap water. And then only at the end of our vacation did we find out you cannot drink the tap water because it's actually from rain that they put in like a huge drum. Oh no. Because that's the only way they can get water because yeah. it was such a huge shortage. The technology enables Zimbabwe and the US to be the same where now any person on the planet 
is able to access water that is of perfect quality as a fundamental human right. Yeah. But it's really just the beginning, right? We want to enable this for all of humanity. And that's what I think makes hydropanels so important is clean, safe drinking water for everybody. All right, that's right. Source hydro panels are for every person, every place.